Chase, we're just uh, happy that it's a new year, like put 2021 behind. I mean, was it, uh, was it a frustrating one for you? Yeah, most definitely. Definitely was. Uh, a lot of uh, learning experiences in 2021. You know, it's interesting, right? Because you're like, hey, I'm going all in on myself. I'm betting on myself, right? And then don't get the results. I mean, is that, do you think maybe there was anything negative by doing that or you needed to restructure something? Uh, no, I think I'm on the right path. Um, I, th I think I've surrounded myself with a, um, a really good group of guys, a really good team down there um, in South Florida. Um, um, definitely made some moves. There's been moves being made in my personal life that's going to allow me to um, really focus on my career. Um, and, you know, it's just a learning process. You know, like I said, uh, you win some, you lose some. You know what I mean? I did, you know, the, the Andre fight, you know, I had the injury um, happen, you know, five minutes prior to walking out. And then, you know, last fight, really no excuses. Last fight, it just came out flat. And, um, you know, I had a shitty performance, you know, and sometimes it happens in sports, you know. Sometimes, you, you know, you can do everything you can, but and then, then on fight day, it's just not, it's not all there. And uh, it's part of the game. Yeah. Is there anything you can do to, to affect that or to change that, you think? I mean, is it just a, some, some days you have bad days, or is there anything you think you can do about that? Well, you know, I think a little bit of it's to the, the the environment that we were kind of put in coming here. I mean, let's be honest, uh, it's not an ideal situation um, to come into fight week and then have to sit um, and stare at four walls and think about the fight all week and then you come out and there's, you know, there's no crowd, there's no nothing. I mean, how can you really get mentally in the right mind frame for that, you know? Um, but now, you know, at least we get to go out and get to enjoy um, Vegas and 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 and, and kind of get out of the hotel, get some fresh air, and get our minds off the fight and and just in, enjoy being in the present moment. And you know, I think that 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 uh, that has its benefits for sure. Um, you know, also uh, before the last fight, you know, Sean Sean Shelby walked up to me and told me that the commission was taking you know, five grand out of my purse, you know, and this is the day before the fight. So they just added stress levels to it that um, I really wasn't, uh, um, I really wasn't preparing to have to face. And so, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about now and we're talking about Saturday and we're moving forward from there. Can I ask why they took money from you? Yeah, it was from whenever I got re-signed to the UFC and, um, I ended up uh, failing that drug test. And so, you know, even though USADA went to bat for me and, and spoke to commission and explained to them that it wasn't, um, it wasn't anything like performance enhancing in the sense that it was, more, that I was getting suspended for failure to disclose um, and that it was prior to ever being in competition or being signed by the UFC, uh, apparently the commission didn't care. So they slapped a big fat. Five thousand dollar fine on my my check and just took it out and so I didn't know that was gonna happen. And like I said, Sean just walked up to me and told me and he was he's like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. So, but you know, whatever. It's just money. Gotta make more of it. I think maybe they could have waited till after the fight to tell you. Yeah, I mean, that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hey, I would have been a lot more happy about it. You know, if I would have won, I'd have been like, hey, we took five grand out. I would have been just like, you know, <laughs> pissed. We'll talk about now, uh, we, we talked to Jake earlier, and he said he loves this fight, man, because of your style. You know, he knows that you're going to bring it, and it's going to be a fun fight. Do yeah. you feel the same way about the matchup? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think that um, I think we're, very, we're similar in a lot when it comes to, to uh, the, the game. I think, I think we like being on our feet. We like showing our, our athletic skill set, and, and, and I think that we, we both mix it up well, and, um, and that um, – we're both uh, high volume strikers, so I think it'll be fun. Yeah. I wondered. I mean, despite the, the frustrating setbacks, I mean, you guys are here on the main card, at ESPN, first card of the year. I mean, do you think that shows some faith from the organization in you that they're putting you in a spot like this? I mean, I, I, they, you know, I, since I've been resigned, you know, um, I, I went from a co-main event to a featured bout and and still in the main card, so. 
um, it's time for me to do my job and, and make sure that I get a win in the positions that I've been placed in, you know what I mean? Now, this is my 11th fight. I need to do a better job of, um, of capitalizing and uh, because they are putting me in a position to, to make my, a name for myself, and, and, and that's on me. That's on me to, uh, to put on a showing. Well, you're getting a fresh start of the year. I mean, ideally, uh, how does this year play out for you? I mean, are, are you looking, is it just about getting this win? Are you planning for the future? What, what do you think you do from here? Yeah, I just, man, all I'm thinking about is right now. I'm not even thinking about Saturday. I'm not thinking, I'm not trying to think at all. I'm just trying to be in the moment and then tap into that sense of, that state of flow. You know, that's a big thing I've been talking about. And uh, because the only thing that's been hearing me from being, um, highly successful in this sport is uh, what's between my two fucking ears, you know, this, you know, you can't tell me that um, I'm not one of the most athletic heavyweights in the division, you know what I mean? You can't tell me that I don't have the skill set to be highly successful, you know what I mean? Because I know I do, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's been times when I've had, you know, when I got re-signed, I was coming off the couch. I didn't even, you know, the fight was like on a week's notice. I went out there and had one of the best performances of my career. All because I was out there just trying to have fun. I didn't care about the outcome. And so when I can get out of my head and into my body and I can go out there and flow, I feel like there's very few people in the world that can handle um, what I bring to the table. And I say that with the most humility I can possibly say, but I'm just being honest. Hey, Chase. Um, what is the tattoo on your hand? It's uh, no quarter. No quarter was... Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with pirates. I grew up on the Gulf Coast. And um, no quarter. Well, so when, when, when pirates would sail the seas, they would, fl they would, they would uh, fly a, a flag, your typical black and white flag. It's called the Jolly, the Jolly Roger. And uh, typically when they raise that flag, ships would, you know, set their anchors and they would come aboard and they would loot the ships. Um, now, for the ships that didn't, uh, you know, want to abide by the <laughs> the pirating, they would lower the Jolly Roger and they would raise the no quarter flag. And the no quarter flag meant, uh, you know, burn the ships, take no prisoners, no no mercy. Awesome. Um, you said that uh, there were some learning experiences in 2021. Um, I just kind of wanted to know what, what those were. Um, I mean, there's plenty of them, man. I, you know, I just every loss is just a learning experience. You know, you learn so much more from the losses than you do the wins. Um, and and just learning to get out of my own way was the big one. You know, um, you know, and then if we, you know, look at it on a different level too. You know, the learning experiences of, of of coming into a new gym and kind of being placed into that system and learning that whole system. You know, the last fight I was I was really, uh, I was a new fighter in Sanford and so I was trying to get put into that system and th that style of fighting that they kind of have. And, and now that I'm in my second camp, you know, I've kind of adapted the things that I need to adapt while maintaining my, uh, the way that I fight in the same sense. So, um, you know, all those are learning experiences. How great is it being at Sanford and having all those big bodies for you? It's not just the big bodies, man. It's not just the um, immaculate facility. It's not just the fact that, you know, you're there in South Florida, or, you know, on the beautiful beaches down there, great weather. Um, but the thing that about it is, is that I've never um, been to a gym where they make you feel so much like a part of the team and a family, you know, that, that it is, I've, uh, I've done sports my whole life and team sports and when coming into MMA uh, um, it was somewhat of a difficult transition because it's it's an individual sport and you go to a lot of these gyms and uh, and uh, a lot of the fighters are all all they care about is you know their careers and the things that they need to do and make sure that they have the right sparring partners and and, and if they have a fight coming up and if they don't it's kind of like you know well screw you but there, Henry and, and, and Jason and, and Greg have, have done a good job of literally uh, building a foundation that is based around being a team. And um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to be a part of that team environment, and you only want to, you know, look after yourself, 
And when you have fights, then, you know, your ass is out the door. And so it, 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 you just have to come down there and just kind of feel the vibes. It's, 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 it's amazing. Awesome. That, that's awesome to hear, and I'm glad that you're uh, in a team environment finally. Um, and then finally for me, uh, I know you say you don't, you don't really want to think about anything, but, like, do, do you feel like you're fighting for your job on Saturday? <laughs> well, yeah, I am. I mean, it's the last fight on the contract. I mean, they, we all know that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I don't want to sit there and harp on it, you know, but to to me, there is no other option. And when someone, you know what I mean, there, in a sense, I have everything to lose and nothing to lose at the same time, you know. So winning and losing this fight is going to really – I'm having a pivotal point in my life, you know. You know, win the fight, and my life goes completely one direction, and then losing it goes completely the other direction. And so uh, we're at a crossroads, and we'll see what happens. Awesome. Thanks, Chase.